it's early in the morning guys six o'clock actually it's half past six and i'm just gonna be walking here this roads here and that's right here in pretoria we are going to do these streets going down starting all the way from here and this area around where i'm starting the video is around postman uh, uh, bus rank and uh, this video is such very interesting in many ways as you see for yourself guys it's important somehow to know the history of the city because this city somewhat to some extent it's really is underrated in so many ways that's why you always see me coming to the city to show you the beauty of it and uh, a lot about this city and after all we're gonna be like going into the areas where you will see it's gonna be hectic it's gonna be really busy early in the morning i hope we'll be able to get to those sections early this morning when there is that happiness um, of the of the city and you can uh, you can see it by yourself guys the, the sun is just glowing can you see um the sun uh, extending giving its glory to those buildings to my left hand side as i'll be crossing this pedestrian and the schools uh, and the school kids are going to to school as for now you see there is uh, some history about pretoria but let me just give you a little bit of some history at uh, this city actually straddles the apis river and also it extends eastward into the um the fourth hills of the magalisberg i'm sure you know magalisberg guys uh, those are mountains it also has a reputation as an academic city and center of research because it is home to the China University Technology, do you know that? And uh, it is TUT, and also the University of Pretoria, the UP, and also the University of South Africa, the UNISA. So you can see, guys, Pretoria is this is the central part of the city of Chwane, metropolitan municipality. Did you know that, guys? So uh, this municipality was actually formed by the um, amalgamation of several former local authorities that is including uh, Centurion, Kalinan and also Hamaskar and Soshangwe. Some have proposed changing the official name from Pretoria to, to, to Twani or Twani. There is a lot that is being said about this 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 city because it really it, there is it's it's a, it's a debate about could be Pretoria be changed to Tuani. So it, this is kind of caused uh, some public controversy. You see, Pretoria actually is named after Andres Pretorius. And this city, you know, <laughs> in many cases, you, you'll find this city, they called it, it Jacaranda City. It's because it's mainly because of the thousands and ja of uh, Jacaranda trees that is planted along uh, the streets of this city, it parks and gardens and all that. So you see, Pretoria was formed, um, that actually, uh, I would say it was founded in 1855. That was by Metinas Pretorius. I, I, I can't pronounce well that 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 uh, his name is. This. The thing is Metinas uh, Pretorius. I just know this Pretorius. <laughs> this name. Well, the reason why it is Pretoria. So him, he was a leader of the uh, foot trekkers, who named it after the father and Andres Pretorius, and chose a spot on the banks of the Apis River of which uh, uh, the Apis River the other name is Monkey's River Monkey's River 
because it's Africans, Apis River, Vere, something like that. It's an African's name, but uh, when you convert that name to English, it's Monkey's River. So this uh, city now is, is the capital city of South Africa. It's one of those cities, uh, one of the capital cities here in South Africa. Can you see, and even it's early in the morning, people, can you see this guy is there? I think that one slept there. It's one of the street guys. It's early in the morning. Can you see that guy? Yeah. And uh, the people who I'm just meeting like now, coming and going, you can see most of them, they are the scholars, and some of them, they are workers. It's quite early in the morning, guys, and you can see these pavements, they are well it's now is a well cleaned city even early in the morning you can see how smart it is this city has been really underrated in in in, in many ways and also back to some history there uh, somehow in um this city is known to um you know during the first boer war if you've ever heard about it the seed uh, this city was uh, besieged by the republic uh, forces in uh, in 1880 if i can remember well um, from what i've just researched about this about this city and it was in march 1881 the peace treaty that ended the war was signed in pretoria on 3 august and that was 1881 at the pretoria convention So you see, the, the Pretoria forts were built for the defense of the city just prior to the Second Boer War. Though some of these forts are today in ruins, a number of them have been preserved as national monuments, as you, you see. I don't know if I've shown you some of these monuments that you do see here in Pretoria. There are many of those main monuments. Um, that you see that are just preserved for the people to be you know to record the history you know, the history of the city you know something like that you can see this city is looking quite well at this moment you know it's something that i've always wanted to like when i'm moving around this street especially at this time you know how it looks it, it you know it, it glows it's early in the morning how past six like I, I said i think i walked at this um this video from six i started walking from six from where i started this video and um, so it's six o'clock a.m to where i ended it you know this is quite an interesting uh, city guys as you can see and um you know tourism is actually not is not marketed well in this city no wonder why this city is not known by many especially from the outside world the visitors and all that stuff and as i'm sure is if you are someone who's following my channel from the videos that i've been showing you of pretoria you could see that it's even a much better city when it comes to cleanliness it's better than Johannesburg, it's better than Devon, it's better than bloemfontein you know it's one of the cities that is really 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 uh clean and also the other thing that i love of this city is um you know you don't have to look over your shoulder shoulders when you're walking here it's kind of self don't get me wrong i'm not saying you know there's no crime there is crime but it's one of those cities that you can walk without worrying that much you know like johnsburg some of those you know busy streets those are streets you should be worrying about you should be i mean over vigilant in everything that you'll be doing but here when i'm talking of pretoria the over 
uh, vigilance is something it's just it's a story and um guys i would also like to relate a certain story about there are people who think uh, when i post some certain videos especially when i said that same video is is, is is really um bringing a lot of conversations so it's something that i think we should go con, um, have a conversation on right now and let you know what i think when i'm posting those kind of videos especially that short that said that that says um um even here you could also find white and um, that is in Durban, right that shot yeah that shot actually guys if you want to see don't only just watch that shot alone that shot is is, is uh is cut from a bigger video and um, the bigger video the link is right there on that same shot if you just uh click where it is written created from walk africa it will take you straight to the real video the longer video and walking i mean um walking with uh, me on that video you'll be able to see exactly what i was talking about and what actually i tried to talk about and what i tried to mention when i say also even uh, why they are found here guys don't um mislead people don't change it to suit your own opinions my effect was even downtown Durban, you can find white and that somehow shows you people they share you know this district whether you're white whether you're black is that one and that one who does just decides i don't want to walk in uh Devin downtown you you know the thing is when you're walking when you come to these streets don't just bring something that is fancy you know like those expensive watches anyone any i can tell you not only white black guy as me colored whatever any race you can't go to such areas and you know flashing fancy stuff yeah, i mean obviously you you'll get dropped any and it's anyway some of those big countries i mean uh, known countries um it, that happens you must always be vigilant when it comes to that leave your you know valuables in your hotel room or at your home when you come around maybe just have a, a certain phone that you can open you can um you know uh, contact your relatives with but not an expensive one you will be very fine walking these streets anyone on that matter you can be up and down in those streets that say hey i can't go there it's filthy it's this and that it's your country guys you can't let your, your country down like that you know those people that you see in a you know it makes me wonder uh when people says it's 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 it's, uh, it's bad to be there but you see thousands of people are walking there do you tell me those people are all gangsters they're all being robbed because you see a lot of people walking there so there is life those places that's still goable anyone can go to those streets right that's my point here guys anyone can go to such streets you know so you even see in this video if you look well uh, this uh, Pretoria video you can see there is whites that I'm even meeting as I'm going I'm not searching for whites but this is a fact because I want everything just to be equal this 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 channel is not for uh, racial segregation we are one in the same we are all humans actually somewhat as with me I wouldn't want to call races actually or want to, or just want to say human beings but those ones who come with their attitudes and want to prove they are better than others and they will say i don't even want to go there this and that because yeah we are living in a fancy place that's that's your own <laughs> it's not my story you want to go stay in those fancy areas your money says you know but uh, i i know anyone you're rich you're not rich you can even go to those areas where you see people are like that but don't go with your rich stuff there just be just like anyone people you all put you know if we could like be on the same level as human beings not with uh not, not uh in worth terms you know but just as human beings just have a, uh, there is a lot of uh, i would see some of these uh um what do you call it um uh, tourists would want to be like they want to come in those areas so you'll see them two three people walking there just watching those type of um those those places is uh 
downtown Deben, downtown Johannesburg, you do meet them. You do meet any, and I'm not talking of only whites, Asians, and all that stuff, and other black Americans coming in the same areas, you know. There has got nothing to do with color, but my point, I'm trying to put it all loud out there to those, um, to my other, uh, the white race, or is the uh, Asians who want to visit this region. I'm encouraging you. You can come, nothing will happen to you, but don't come with, um, you know, um, th those, your belongings that, that you, you see, they are very uh, expensive, you know, don't flash the type, type of stuff. Just come, leave everything, your belongings that you know, this, you know, expensive stuff, leave it in your hotel, just go by yourself and you'll be very fine. Because if you see someone trying to get something from you because you have got something that is valuable that he sees in iPhone or something, that's when you see someone gets robbed. But if you're just you, you could just travel. It's sad, of course. I wouldn't want to be like, I have to leave my belongings to, to do all the, uh, to the walkings even to anyone. But it is what it is. We can't change that. That's how you see uh, places like that. You say, well, it's not good. But still, you would enjoy going there and even having good street food. You could eat nice street food. I'm telling you guys, Durban is still a city that you can tour. Durban is still a city that you can come and have your whatever you want to do. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your people. Enjoy your, your, your family with them when you're walking around. You can see right now here guys i'm going down it's getting and um you can see people up and down the street here it's early in the morning people they're going to work school kids they're going to get to to um to, to school it's, it's 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 quite a good thing you know and um it really looks very interesting when i'm walking the streets and seeing how people are just you know um i've got a friend of mine you're right here he says Walk Africa, don't talk too much. <laughs> we wanna hear um, the sounds of people and the sounds of bad birds. I once thought maybe I'll just, learn, well, how come, I mean, how about, I just make this video, um, you know, not talk. But I realized that there's so many of you who wants some narration as well, wants to, to know the area. So you can see, all these people that you see there, they're just waiting for some tra transport, some taxis um, to get to where they are working. So I'll be taking you down. And uh, as I'm going down there, people will start to get busy, really, I mean, hectic. The street will get hectic as I, I'm going down, I can tell. You can see the people, they're getting many. And I think by the time now, right now, it's a few minutes past six o'clock. It's not even half past six it's a few minutes after six o'clock because since from when we started working this video it's just a straight video i'm not going to cut anything i just want to give you the video i mean the areas that i'm walking as they are you know so that you experience what am i talking about what's the beauty of this city because right now from where we started there were lesser people and from where we are going right now there are more people you get to experience the vibe guys you know the feeling of being here even if you're not here but you know when you're walking with me right now the way without cutting so much giving you some only just good uh, areas here I'm, i've been just going i was just giving you the areas as they are i wasn't cutting and giving you the good and leaving the bad that's why i did this straight walk from where we started this video and from where you're going to end this video just you know changing uh, streets jumping to this street jumping to that street and also walking alongside the car the, the, the traffic right into the traffic and right also into the into the people if you can see people here they come sell um, their food stuff is fresh the amaguinha we call them amaguinha is here in South Africa and the fat cooks you know it's, it's very tasty food um, test buns that they do with the uh, you know flour dough and uh, and, and uh, cooking oil um, you eat one two two of them you, you are full you know you can only drink water 
the whole morning until you get your lunch later on so you'll see most of the workers they do buy um this food, uh, street food that i'm passing a lot when i'm going down here and also you know green the the, the fresh uh fruits that you got to see here guys pretoria is just the place it has got so many places that you can enjoy with your with your family like also there is a zoo around this area but i'm not passing through it um on this video but maybe one day i will do a zoo pretoria guys is a, is the place to be and i'm telling you it does have you know those rich suburbs very wealthy suburbs i've done some videos about pretoria uh, uh, suburbs as well a very wealthy suburb we have got um, um i don't know i can't recall them by so water is it water cloth? yes there's water cloth there there are many of them if you research and you see there are also some other suburbs that is uh, you know just for ordinary people and um you know the middle class and working people you know it depends on with your with your pocket the arcadia it's a place where you can just reside it's not expensive but it's a good suburb you know it's right next to the city headfield all those suburbs it's places that you can go and they're you know um kind of wealthy suburbs Glenwood is not really wealthy but you know it's a good suburb that anyone can live even the the, the higher class and all that and um that water cliff that i've been just talking about all those and he, in the north north northern uh, no northern pretoria there are also nice accommodation nice suburbs around there pretoria is just great but this city is lacking a lot being talked about it's a city that not so many talk about and um, even the weather here in Pretoria guys I'm telling you it's so giving it's so giving and uh, it's, it's nice weather if you're someone who doesn't like these colds and all that stuff like the colds in, in the Johannesburg areas around Johannesburg Pretoria is the place yeah it can really get hot when it is hot it can really get hot and um, the good other thing good about pretoria it's um it's it's something that is so very close that is very close to um to many cities like johannesburg it is also close to um what is this um it is actually an in between you know country a uh, city that is close to what you call the plokwan or so I think I'll, I'll, I'll need to show you those areas in, in my videos. I've never gone down there, but it's from Pretoria. I think it's like two hours, right? Going there. It's another good city again that is never talked about that I'll want to talk about when it goes. But right now, we are concentrating with Pretoria. And you can even see the down part of uh, Pretoria. Can you see that, guys? This is the down part of Pretoria. It's the downtown. Do you see? It's not that yes we we have met uh, the street people the street uh, kids and homeless people who are sleeping on that but there are a few you can see one two compared to other cities we will see a lot a gang of people who doesn't have homeless areas but pretoria is quite different there are places where you do find them but not as many as in other cities Pretoria is just a I don't know why it's so underrated but um, I think there is a lot that you might have learned through my videos through from all these uh, travel videos especially the Pretoria ones that I've been doing in Pretoria and um, this video I decided to do it early in the morning so that I could see I could show you how the street looks did you see that much of any debt in this city no compared to these other cities that i've been showing you no this city is just nice it's smart you don't have to be afraid walking here and in, and my camera is right i'm flashing and it's right in front of me as i'm walking there is no time that i've ever get scared and say no no or not scared as such but worried about what's gonna be what now my, my camera is just in front of me like this here i don't i i don't do that uh, vigilance thing at all i'm just like 
just ordinary person like anyone who's just walking around they are also carrying their gadgets they're also carrying their expensive stuff like their phones their iphones their bags or wherever they're going to everyone is just at peace i know i'm talking too much i'm not it's a non-speaking uh, talk but guys these are some of the things that you've got to learn about some of the cities good good cities right here in uh, south africa that is never talked about you can see just the city but never talked about never see anything good about it it's a city that is never talked about but yet it is all it has all these goodies that you can really enjoy being you can see guys just i mean showing you the downtown part of this city you can see how it looks hi compared to this other town but i'm not even afraid as i'm walking this down for i'm not even worried that I'm walking this down town part and it's early in the morning but always it's a thing that okay fine in such places you need to you know practice your vigilance that's fine and um, guys if you've been watching my videos all along and you, you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to this channel also join the membership this is the best way to support your boy especially when traveling you know i travel a lot of places and uh, sponsoring those traveling uh, videos is very uh, difficult for me um so when you join the membership um and also helping the channel get the you know the likes and all the stuff so that we get more views that's fine that will be that's a good support for me that will be that that will enable me to get um you know the the traveling fees you know hotels are expensive nowadays can you see what i'm talking about guys can you see the beauty of pretoria even here in downtown these are the worst parts that i'm showing you the parts that supposed to be painted bad parts you know but you see people just walking here they are going to work it's i'm just walking not afraid of anything you know it's quite amazing to be here guys anyone who wants to visit pretoria talk to me if you need any, any advice of which hotel do you want talk to me there is capital hotel capital a very nice hotel hotel capital and uh, there you but 700 800 you can get a, a room 900 a very nice room with everything you live big in pretoria just by visiting this area guys i'm telling you you would have everything that you need beautiful people beautiful uh, buildings there's actually another new building that they're building they are building they're trying to improvise the city in many ways so this is a place to come guys come